Yesterday on Noosa Panita, we soared high. We explored the eastern tip of the island. Today, we're exploring the southwest. The roads just got so bad. And our first of many stops is Angel's Billabong. We'll also go for a swim with a squadron of manta rays. Where can we stop here? I think we finally made it. All this beauty and... We're just 30 minutes away from Bali. I'm Christina. And this is John. We've been travelling together since we were teenagers. When we're not working as a TV journalist and airline pilot, we're exploring the globe. Subscribe and let's get lost. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Thank you to all our Global Travel Guide subscribers. This adventure-packed episode starts at Angel's Billabong, where entry is just 50 cents. Looks like there's some sort of shoot going on down here. It's a busy spot but worth checking out. Remembering you can only access the billabong when it's low tide. Just a short walk away is Broken Beach. It can't be accessed by foot, but the arch makes for a great snap. Just off the coast here, you walk past Manta Ray Viewpoint. So while we're here, I'll show you what it looks like underwater. As soon as you submerge, oh, your heart stops as they are literally centimetres away from you. The seas can get pretty rough out here, plus we were demolished by sea lice. A tour like this takes most of the day and not only will you get to swim alongside manta rays, but you'll also check out a few reefs too. Remember, you'll need an extra day if you want to do this snorkeling manta ray tour. Anyway, where were we? Let's rewind back to Broken Beach. Our next stop from here is T-Rex Bay, which is what made this island famous on social media because of this view. Can you see the T-Rex? What they call T-Rex Bay. It's arguably the most Instagram spot on the island. People risk it all for the gram. That goes right down. You can access the beach by walking down a steep staircase that descends along the ridge. There's a lot of people here today. It's uh, currently holidays in Indonesia, so that must explain it. The lines go on and on. I wanted to ask you, how many people are usually here? One day, I, I think it'd be 500. 500 a day? Yeah. Yeah, right. The lines were ridiculous, so we kept moving. Ready, are you ready? We tried to find this secluded spot to escape the crowds. It's called Templing Beach waterfalls and forest. But finding it was a mission. We're going up there. So we uh, just ran into some tourists and um, they said they just went to the waterfall and there was no one there. I guess that's why they said that this was a best kept secret. It's because no one would actually come down here because it's so gnarly. This is bush bashing for bikes. Oh my god. I hope he doesn't get a flat here. This would be so f it. Oh my god. I think that was a shortcut. See all the paint on the rocks? Oh, he was bikes. 
It's pretty grueling to get to. From here, it's about a five minute walk. Do you reckon we stop here? Yeah. I think we finally made it. We're right next to the forest. Take this thing off. So you're adamant this is the right place. What a beautiful spot. Definitely found it. Whew. We stumbled upon this cool cave. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. And just next to it was another natural pool. just got so bad that I've just had to get off the bike. While riding around the island can be sketchy, there are plenty of surprises along the way. Wow, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, wow. Our final stop before dinner near our accommodation was the Goa Giri Puchri Temple. If you forget to cover up, you can hire a sarong. So handsome. You then walk up a steep staircase. What does it say? Please maintain your thoughts, words and deeds, heavenly. It's a long way up. To enter the cave, we offered a small donation. Before being blessed. Oh, that's the cave. You first. Then it was our turn to crawl through a tiny crack into the cave. I think it's one way. There are six praying oh spots God. at the temple. Oh, that cave is massive. It can hold up to 5,000 people in there at a time. It's so hot in here. So there are these crabs that actually live in this cave. It's the only one of its kind in the world. There's a conservation program that's underway now, just trying to protect them. John, you know that crab you found? It was a cockroach. <laughs> Is that a bat? It's been flying in and out of that cave. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, heaps in there. No. What? Are you kidding? They were all up here and they all flew out that way. Oh my. Keep going. Go on. No. Whoa. Did you see that? <gasps> oh my god. They're so quiet though, aren't they? There he is, just hanging up there. It took us about half an hour or so to check out the temple. We then decided to grab some dinner at the night markets nearby for the second night in a row, mostly because we wanted to eat these traditional pancakes. You don't miss them. That is amazing. If you want to give them a try, I've pinpointed the location, as for all the places we've visited in this guide, on maps in the description below. What was your favourite part about the island? Um, is this an awkward time to ask you? <laughs> Our favourite spot by far was Diamond Beach. Pretty good, just don't want to die. Which we checked out on day one, so go back and check out that travel guide if you missed it. Next on Global Travel Guides, we island hopped to Noosa Lombongan. It's just a 10 minute boat ride away. We go exploring and then scooter over the Yellow Bridge on Kennegan Island to check out a bar looking over the bluest lagoon we've ever seen. How gorgeous it is. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to continue watching our adventure over to New Salembongan, make sure you click on the next link. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you in Nisa Lombongan. <laughs>